Hi, here we have a simple AutoCAD drawing with uh, some grid lines and some other lines set out. Um, the grid lines are on a layer called grid lines and the other lines on zero. First thing what I want to do is I want to go to File, Save As, and I want to save it as, as a low level AutoCAD DXF file. So 2000, 2004's plenty good. It means the file is a lot smaller as well. So I'm just going to go save and then I need to exit from AutoCAD because if I don't save it as an exit it doesn't release the drawing properly. So 101. So let's go into the master series into import and DXF and there is that DXF 101 that I created. Uh, same time and date stamp as now. So I just say open and it's read the file and found these two layers. So I'm going to bring in both layers and we'll just extract it to the file. Off it goes, 88 members, 62 nodes, and then I'm going to load the file. So what I've got is a plan view, because AutoCAD's default is on plan. And I've got all my red grid line members and all my black layer zero members brought in as members. So first thing I'm going to do is use my view filter and view by viewing groups and we automatically put each of the layers into a separate viewing group. So I'm going to hide all the zero ones and that's just going to leave me with these. Now I'm going to go to create and add grid lines. Because I'm going to take these lines which it thinks at the moment are actual members and create grid lines for them. I'm going to go up vertically so I'm going to go along the X initially and say draw and it's going to be orthogonal so I'm just going to say that one so it's A that's going to be B I want that one to be B1 so and this one to be C so I'll just skip this one for a second C D and then I'm going to say between two points for that one is E. I'm now going to come back to orthogonal, choose this one, and what I can now do is just come down to the F and just replace it with the B1. And it's now B1. So now moving across to set 2, I'm going to start, and it will obviously start at orthogonal at 1, 2, 2A, 3, so create that one last and then just rename it to being 2A or 2.1 and off you go and that's that done. So that's the grid lines done. Now because we're only viewing that layer what we can now do under modify is say delete members, window the whole lot of them, apply and then now I have my grid lines without those members. Naturally the members that I brought in on layer 0 are still available. So viewing there they are. Just turn everything off and they're still there. So I now have my grid line available for going and creating columns and whatever I need to do. And it's as simple as that.